Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to another pickups video. Uh, tonight is actually the 28th of July, but I'm up, I'm going to be uploading this tomorrow night or sometime tomorrow, so it will be the 29th of July by the time this gets uploaded. So um, yeah, welcome to um, the latest pickup video. There isn't actually much to show. Um, well, nothing that's really you know mind blowing or anything. Um, but, you know, I, I thought I'd show them anyway, you know. So um, yeah, I've just uh, three PlayStation 2 games. Uh, again, I bought on Steam, and also just some other random shit. And um, that's basically it, basically. Um, so yeah, I've been drinking again Saturday night. I've been drinking obviously. Um, I usually drink on Saturday night, but um. Yeah. Anyway, thanks. Um, let's get on with it, shall we? <clears throat> so I'll get this one over with because it's a, a sports title. There's actually two sports titles here, but this one is probably the least interesting. And it is Total Club Manager 2005 for the position 2. Of course, on the cover you have got Jose Mourinho, the legend himself. Uh, in my opinion, I have a lot of respect for Jose Mourinho. He's a great manager, uh, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, Total Club Manager 2005. I didn't like Total Club Manager 2004. I thought it was pretty poor uh, for, a football, for you know, a football manager game, which I really, really enjoy, you know. So I decided to give 2005 a shot. And one of the main reasons why I decided to give this a shot is because it uses the same graphics as FIFA, uh, FIFA 2005, which is this game right here. Yeah, it uses the same graphics as FIFA 2005. Which I thought was a really good, uh, you know, a really good uh, year for the for the FIFA uh, for the FIFA series. Uh, I thought it was really good, you know, gameplay wise, graphic wise. I thought it was really good, and you can also um, play your matches in this on FIFA 2005, which I think is really good. Um, never seen that before in a, a football manager game where you can actually play the games, um, you know. But um, you know, I, I played one of the games, but the thing is, I didn't, I don't really like it the way it's done. You have to turn off this game, uh, you know, save the file, turn off this game, then put in FIFA 2005, play a match, then switch back onto this again, then switch back on, you know, and keep doing that. It's crap, to be honest. I might just do that for like cut files and stuff, but. For the majority of the time, I'll, I'll just have to stick to this because I, I really don't want to have to keep switching discs over and over again. That's not really good for the uh, for the disc holder either on the, on the console. Uh, so um, yeah, Total Club Manager 2005 it is a lot better than 2004 uh, in my personal opinion. But um, I need to give it a little bit more of a shot. And there's a reason why I've not been put, I, I did plan to play that a lot. I got that for two pound and three pence, and it was it was a uh, you know sealed. It was brand new and sealed, so that's a pretty good price for a, a sealed game, even if it isn't an old sports title. Uh, yeah, I was gonna. I had planned to play that game quite a lot, but there was another game that I bought on Steam, um, but you know, but you know, it's miles and miles better to be honest. Um, but we'll get to that at the end of this video. I've got an itchy nose. I always get an itchy nose, man. Right. So anyway, next uh, sports title for the PS2 is um, Summer Heat Beach Volleyball. Uh, yeah, volleyball. Um, <laughs> beach volleyball. Oh god, not the camera. Um, surprise! Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not. Oh, I see, man. Um, yeah, beach volleyball. I was actually, you know, quite a big fan of volleyball when we used to do volleyball at the high school. I think it was really, really fun, and um, really enjoyed it. And I uh, decided to give the game a shot. I've seen some gameplay, and obviously, you know, it's got the, the eye candy. Obviously, that's one of the main reasons people buy it, probably, for the eye candy. Um, that was kind of why I bought it. It's kind of like Dead or Alive kind of graphics. That's kind of the reason why I bought it. But another reason is because I do actually enjoy volleyball. I think it is a you know, pretty decent sport. And I thought I'd just give it a shot to see what it's like. Um, and surprisingly, really fun. I played this for like two hours, and um, I first got it, and um, I found it really, really enjoyable. Um, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it that much. I thought, you know, I'll stick it in for like an hour, and then uh, I'll maybe enjoy it. But uh, yeah, I played it for two hours, so I was surprised about that. Um, pretty enjoyable game, in my opinion. It kind of looked like, you know, 
different outfits and that for the characters and stuff, which is cool, I suppose. It gives you um, more like replay value and stuff. So, um, yeah, not a bad game, actually, for um, £1.29, I think it was. So, yeah, £1.29. Awesome. Oh, I'll forget. I also get to do this, but that was obviously, it was brand new, the Football Manager game was brand new, so obviously it was complete and stuff. Obviously this is complete as well, and the disc is mint condition. Absolute mint condition, guys. Uh, so that's awesome. And the last PS2 game is Robot Wars, Arenas of Destruction. Yeah. So uh, Robot Wars, I finally decided to give it a shot. It was one pound. Nah, I'm lying. It was. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, yeah. Six pound. There we go. Six, six pound. Yeah, I played. I paid a whole six pound for this, guys. And it was one pound twenty nine. It was the same seller as uh, the beach. The beach volleyball. I think it's some kind of shop. Uh, seller. But um, yeah, Robot Wars: Rings of Destruction for one pound twenty nine. Not really too great but you know it's it's fun for what it is you know I love the commentary the commentary is amazing uh, definitely like, like the commentary but the gameplay is a bit mess it's not really too great I mean it is a bit of a you know budget title it's nothing it's not I don't think it's supposed to be anything like brilliant you know like mind blowing or anything but you know it's pretty fun you know uh, put your robot in an arena with like four or five robots and destroyed <laughs> destroyed opposition um, yeah, it's quite fun for what it is. Um, we can see the commentary is amazing. The ass isn't broken off! I just love the commentary, it's amazing. But, um, yeah, it's decent enough, but didn't really put too much time into it. But, um, it is complete with manual. Manual's in pretty good condition, it's got a bit wobbled then. A little, um, thingy bit there. Um, what do you call it? I don't know, what? Crease, yeah, crease, there we go. Uh, disc again mint condition. So um, obviously I have a game that's not really been played too much by the previous owners. Which I'm not surprised by it's nothing too amazing. Uh yeah. So now we go to the non gaming pickups, which of course is this little baby, the phone. Uh yeah, it's you know, it's not like one of the newest phones out or anything. Uh this one my dad got a, a Samsung Galaxy, which is a tremendous phone. I love the Samsung Galaxy, I love the look of it. And what I had previously was a, a Tucker White. And uh, it was a pretty good phone. I mean, you know, it's a pretty good camera, decent enough. And, uh, you know, what what I used it for, it was, you know, a pretty good phone, you know. Um, but, you know, I thought, I thought, you know, it's been, what, three years. I thought I'd give it a change. So, it's up. Oh, shit. Oh, working? Yeah, I've got plenty of helmet. Um, so it is... I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. But, no, you can't see it, I don't think. But it is the Samsung Monty. You can maybe just see the image on the front there. It is the Samsung Monty. Spelled, uh, spelled M-O-N-T-E. Uh, Samsung Monty. Pardon me. Um, from what I'm using it so far, it is a really good phone. Uh, you probably notice the difference with quality. It is a lot better audio-wise. Uh, Video-wise, you know, picture-wise, I'd say a little bit better. Um, not too much better, but I'd say audio-wise, it is definitely uh, an improvement, you know. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. So that's basically that. And I want to get one of these things cheap. Bye again. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to get one of these things cheap, which is, it's these things, these air fragments, you spray into the wall, and obviously every now and again, every hour, from it sprays, and the room smells nice and fresh and stuff, and, um, yeah, I've got one from a room right now, it's this one, which sits on your desk, or wherever you decide to put it, and obviously it sprays, but this doesn't spray because it's out, and it's run out of a, a refill thing, uh, yeah, the quantity is run out. And, uh, yeah, these are £4.99 and stuff for refills. It's pretty insane, you know? So, like, but I wanted to get these things for £1.99, which is the wall plug-in. And it also came with this, which is lavender, I believe. 
And also another plugin, I got this for one one point ninety nine as well. Uh, semi chem will have a, a clearance, which is perhaps my favourite of the you know the the chemist type places. Uh, semi chem, love semi chem. And uh, you know it's another airwick, another spare refill, which is uh, blue ocean coral. So yes, I think it'll be alright as well. So I'm going to start using them. So it's awesome. Couldn't resist for one ninety nine when they're usually four ninety nine, which is just plain ridiculous, really. Uh, there's something else as well. Um, let's get into them, I suppose. And I've got crown for this one. But I've been shopping. SportsDirect.com, UK's number one. Yeah, SportsDirect, great uh, shop for uh, sports goods. They're having a sale at the moment. They're having like a sale, a clearance sale, everyone must go kind of thing. Not closing down. But just getting rid of uh, most of the uh, the products, you know. So I bought two pairs of shoes because my shoes, well, they're actually boots. My boots are getting a bit done, so I decided to buy a few pa a pair of trainers. I think they're actually both trainers. Yeah, yeah, they're. My room's a mess. Yeah, uh, these are Slazenger, great make. Uh, let's open these up on camera, shall we? Which are these off? <laughs> Can't even do this on camera. But these are like trainers, which I think are really good. Um, see that? Yeah. So as in your trainers, pretty sweet. That's your right foot, and that's your left foot, of course. Um, no use having just one pair, one uh, one shoe. Well, you could do, but it wouldn't get you very far. And second pair, oh shit, is um. Carimor. Is it Carimor? Yeah. So again, let's unbox these on camera. Oh, I'm going to regret making this video, I'm going to. Yeah, so uh, Carimor. They're pretty good as well. They're more like mountain kind of boots, like mountain trainer things. Uh, definitely my second favourite. Uh, definitely the Swazengers are my favourite. Um see that's up. Ow. Oh, fuck it. Um I've already had one. Um yeah, I forgot to mention as well, Football Manager twenty twelve is the game that I've on Steam. Football Manager twenty twelve. And I've got to say, tremendous, you know. Uh I can't remember who said it, was it Kieran that Kieran guy on YouTube, Kieran D I can't remember the numbers, um I'm worse than I'm drunk. When I'm drunk. Um, but yeah, Kieran D. Um, I think he. I think it was him that said a while ago when I mentioned LMA, LMA Manager, uh, which I love the LMA Manager. Uh, about Football Manager on PC being the best Football Manager on game going. And I've got to be honest, I didn't. You know, I didn't listen. I didn't really um, think anything could be better than the LMA Manager games because I thought they were, you know, tremendous. Uh, but FIFA, uh, Football Manager 2012, which made by Sega. Steam had it on a sale, it is usually £20, Steam was selling it for £4.99, didn't hesitate, just just clicked that button and bought the damn thing, I, you know, I was kind of worried because I didn't actually think it was going to work on my computer, but I bought a dynamic for that price, you know, and it works perfectly on my laptop, but it's slow at times, but it does work, you know, when the, when the football match comes on, it works perfectly, and I've got to say, the Football Manager 2012 game is Tremendous, absolutely love it. Best football management, best football management game I have played. I absolutely love it. It is tremendous. Um, so yeah, I, I had to read now. Football manager is probably, in fact, it is actually the best football management game going. You know, it's so in depth as well. You know, the amount of things you can do. Um, basically, like clubs can get taken over by new owners and stuff, which can make them really, really wealthy and stuff, which I think is tremendous. Like Ellen Manager, most of the clubs just stayed, you know, wealthy, just as wealthy as they were at the start of the game. But um, you know, through Manager Twitter job, it is so unpredictable, and that's what makes it absolutely mind blowing and tremendous. Just like a, a real uh, football management game, just love it. So in depth and brilliant, and I just love it. So through Manager Twitter job, one of the best purchases of, you know, one of the best four ninety nines I've paid for a game. You know, tremendous. 
And um, yeah, I just usually stick it on my um, laptop. Why am I doing this? As well, I don't know. Really. I just like, stick it on my laptop over there. And um, if I'm playing on a con, I'm playing a game on a console. Uh, basically, I just stick a uh, football manager on in the background, and you know, now and again, just go back to the laptop and you know, set up the games and stuff. And then you know, just let it run while I'm playing. Well, I'm playing the console here. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I've got to say. Um, apart from one thing. Oh shit! I will take you through to the room where I get where I've got another pickup, which is my main pickup. Definitely my main pickup. Got this bloody daft new man. Jump, jump, jump cut, jump cut, excuse me. But she's just what we. <clears throat> Do you know what this is? It's a treadmill. I did mention in one of my previous vlogs, I think it was a vlog, yeah. I did mention I was going to be, you know, investing a bit to get a treadmill. And surprisingly, somebody was selling this locally for £80. For a treadmill, it is £80. And that is a really good offer, um, in my opinion. Because ones that I've seen are... Pardon me. The ones I've seen on like say, eBay and stuff are like one pound, uh, one pound, yeah, one pound. Mm, clever guy. Uh, like a hundred and fifty pound. I think the one the cheapest one that I've seen. Uh, obviously, this is like an automatic one. I wanted a, a, an automatic one, one of a motor. Uh, there was ones like eighty pound and stuff, like, like manual ones, which I didn't really want. I wanted a you know powered one, automatic one. And this is automatic, and uh, eighty pound. Absolutely tremendous price. I couldn't believe it. It's just um, the bit that shows you the calories and stuff, you know, the main monitor screen. Uh, at the back of it's got a crack, but that's like one of the, like, the only problem with it, the with it, I think. Um, no, wait a minute, there's one more thing actually, which I'm not going to be able to show you, I don't think. Oh, I might actually, hold on. <clears throat> see, you can see that there. There's a crack I was talking about at the back of back of the monitor, but you know it's nothing much. You know it still works perfectly, and also the things that you hold on to. Oh, it's so dark in here. You're not gonna be able to see. But the thing you hold on to, there's a couple of. Uh, oh, you can maybe just see that. Look, there is like a a thing there, like where the the rubber's been worn. And there as well. So obviously, you know, just minor problems. And um, you know, obviously, the machine works perfectly. So that's obviously the main thing. Uh, I'm sort of having to whisper in the kitchen. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, it's been good, I suppose. It's been a long pickup video. I'm guessing I've been blasting a whole lot of rubbish. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video where I will be sober. Because it won't be Saturday night. It won't be Saturday night. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, it's been a good video, hopefully. Um, like I said, it's been a long video. But um, hopefully you enjoyed this. <laughs> and to a certain degree. And I'll um, catch you all in the next video. Uh, it's been a long video. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all later. See you, guys. Take care. Play hell, man. I can't find the bloody button now, yeah.